Determine the support reactions for the following beam. We start by drawing the beam's free body diagram. Since there is an internal hinge in the beam, we need to separate the left and the right segments. Then draw the free body diagram for each part. For the purpose of calculating the support reactions, we can always replace distributed loads with their equivalent concentrated loads. In this example, the magnitude of the equivalent concentrated load is the area of the triangle representing the load. It equals... This load is to be placed at the geometric center of the triangle. Note that there are two internal forces acting at the hinge a force in the x direction and a force in the y direction. We have labeled them Cx and Cy. These forces appear in both free body diagrams but in opposite directions. We need to do it this way since they should add up to zero. We have a total of six unknown forces here. There are three unknowns at A, two at C, and one at B. Since we can write three equilibrium equations for each free body diagram, we end up with six equations and six unknowns. Hence, we have a statically determinate beam. Here are the equations for the left segment, and here they are for the right segment. Although we can solve all six equations simultaneously, it would be more convenient to solve them by part. First, we solve these equations for Cx, Cy, and By. They are Now substitute 0 for Cx and 3 for Cy in these equations, which gives us these equations. Solving them for the remaining unknown forces, we get Here are the calculated forces shown on the free body diagram. So the support reactions are